Good evening. Happy Friday and happy spring, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning into this very impromptu stream. I don't usually go live on this platform. I must say I've been thinking about it and I recently found out that you can go live in, what's this? Portrait? Landscape? Portrait. In Portrait. So I thought I would give it a try today. Blessings Thunder, thank you so much for joining. So I did say 10 p.m. sharp, but I managed to make it around 4 p.m. Okay. And I've come to say, hey, what a way that time is longer than rope. In Jamaica, we have a saying, time is longer than rope. Okay. So before I get into it, thank you all so much for joining me. Thank you to those of you who I know will come back and watch this video. Apologies for not putting out a video the past few weeks. I was literally getting information to put out an update on Afua Rose, okay? So a few people have been giving me statements about their experiences of Afua Rose, and that was due to come out maybe on Sunday. But before we could even get there, I spent the day out with one of my beautiful, beautiful goddess sisters, okay? It's Women's Month, as you know, so we're celebrating our goddesshood. We're celebrating our friendships, our genuine friendships that we have. And on the way home, my phone just started blowing up. Like someone reached out to me and the WhatsApp was filled with videos. And I said, okay, when I get home, I'll check. And just before I got to my house, I was able to like take my phone out and have a look at these videos. And lo and behold, just as the title says, the videos featured Afua Rose of the Afua Speaks YouTube channel, self-proclaimed women's rights activists who I have clearly explained in many different ways, someone who has a very low level of morality, someone who is a trauma pimp, who traumatizes women and men. They, she traumatizes the stories of women to for monetization, for financial gain, and someone who is always accusing a bag of men of assault without having any evidence. This woman goes above and beyond. Apparently, I even found out today she gets fake witnesses. Do you understand? She signs documents and pretends that these are coming from witnesses when she's having these court cases. And today she was arrested by, well, in the message it said 20 policemen. Now, I don't know if it was 20 policemen that arrested Afua Rose, but I do know that she was very clearly arrested today. And as the great blessings, the great honor and prosper 52, I totally agree, this arrest is long overdue. And for me, I am not here to like uh, celebrate the downfall of others. If you check my content, it's usually just about me and my personal experiences. But in this case, because of personally, I have been a recipient to so much uh, malicious communications, hate speech, defamation and slander from Afro Rose, myself as a woman, I have been at the end of her nasty, evil, demonic conduct. And so many other men and women have been victimized by someone who thought, what does Stormzy say? You're too big for your boots. Someone who felt like they were too big for their boots. So I've come to speak about this with you guys. I know that her audience, uh, mainly people who are, blessings, Kerry! What's up, Kerry Mustington? Me too. And you know, this really isn't a gender-based me too. I've spoken to several women, women who she has gone above and beyond to insult not only the women themselves, their families, their deceased family members. Do you understand? It's like Afua Rose has no boundaries and also men, a range of men, men who have been accused of things, men, even young boys who were accused of uh, causing, I'm trying to find the right word, unaliving teenage people. I literally have had such a wide scope of people come forward. And if you would like me to showcase your story, even if it's anonymous, please reach out to me. You can contact me via my website. It's linneaofficial.com. There's a contact box, okay? Please send me a message because literally a few people who are watching and who will watch can vouch for the fact that in the past five days, 
I've been reaching out to people and asking them, you know, I, I understand you might want to do this anonymously because Afua's tongue is so vicious. Do you understand? So a lot of people, they're just watching from the sides. But I wanted people to tell me in their own words, in a paragraph or two, what their experiences were so I could actually show the wide spectrum of people who have been affected by her, the trauma that she's caused, families, family members, and the divisive energy that she's using to attack a community that she actually lives very far away from. So we've discovered, sorry, I feel like I'm talking so far because we've got to get it out, right? We have discovered that there have been, there have been, let me just put my thing on do not disturb. Uh, where is it? Okay, focus. My apologies, everyone. I just don't want anyone to call me or something and to block my thing. So straight talk, no faking 2.0 says only a blind person couldn't see this happening. I totally agree. Kerry Mossington says, I was a victim of her behavior for weeks. I've been a victim of her behavior for almost a year. Like, menor semi cute, you understand? Menor semi cute, you know? Menor semi cute. And I know that I am not, um, I'm definitely not above anyone, but I'm not the average woman out here, okay? I've got many different skills and experiences, but the way how I feel, well, I mean, this isn't even through me watching her content. This is through other people coming and telling me that week after week after week after week, my name is in Afua's crusty mouth. And so for me personally, I was telling someone today, someone who I really respect, who's been very supportive throughout this journey. I was like, hey, it's one thing if you want to come out with a bunch of lies and you spend your two hours because you've got no true content, you just want to talk about me, okay? Okay, I forgive you for that. But you see this thing of every time you're doing your show, you're talking about me, you're talking about my child, you're talking about my business of which you don't, most people don't have a clue what I'm doing, okay? I have to push myself to post on social media. I'm being very creative behind the scenes. She does not care who it is. She has no loyalty to women. She has no loyalty to men. And part of this new work that I was going to put out, like it was going to be Afua Rose, The Trauma Pimp Part 2, because I wanted to explain some nuances that are very, very deviant within Afua Rose's conduct. I wanted to explain how Afua Rose is suffering from cognitive dissonance. Like she's got some belief systems, like she believes in, um, what, what would she say? Like Pan-Africanism and this and that. She believes in the nuclear family. She believes in man, woman, and child, and they all have to be the same race. But her own experiences should have at least shaken up those beliefs. So she pretends like she's fighting in one direction when in fact she is just trying to dismantle and destroy. Kelly says, I agree though, some things didn't add up, but again, let's wait to see how this all plays out. And absolutely, for me, this is not an allegation that she's been arrested. So let me see what I can show you. I want to show you some of the videos that have been sent to me. I don't know what's going to happen. I've heard many different views. Some people are saying, look, she's probably just going to be arrested for a few hours. She will receive bail. And then, you know, she'll be able to set up her defense. One of the things that I heard a few weeks ago is that when she initially went to court, she made some very derogatory statements about the judge, not even about the person who she was in arms with, but she essentially said that the judge was a pedo, okay, filing cabinet. <laughs> and I was thinking, Afua must have clearly, like, she's lost her marbles. Remember that as women evolve, they have to take certain supplements. They go through hormonal changes. If you don't take care of yourself, you can actually lose your, your mind. You get what I'm saying? So before I play the video, I want to see. The women had them doing the most on my phone number, offering actual services, threatening to get me and my missus, threatening to lick me off my bike. F me up. What? At my garage and all nonsense. But hey... Well, I'm sorry you've had that experience because one thing I realize is it's not just Afua on her own. She does send out her little goons, her little dance bats. Now, as I just want to say this, okay, as a woman who has openly, I have spoken about experiencing assault, I recommend that if you have a story to tell, 
you be that woman and you tell your own story. Do I knew that from the beginning. That's why I never use Afro Rose's platform to speak any of my business. If you want to heal, and we have to heal, we can't just be here to re-traumatize and re-traumatize and to sit in the wound. If you feel like you've healed to a stage where you're ready to talk, because that's when you should talk, okay? When you're no longer vulnerable, when you're no longer fractured, you talk on your own platform. Don't allow someone who clearly has no morals, someone who's on some, I don't, listen, I don't even wanna cuss bad word. Let me play the video. <laughs> Seriously, I'm a feel like say, I'm gonna cuss bad word. Okay, so that's the first video, and I do have another one. Like, y'all need to see this, y'all need to watch this video. I'm bigger. DJ Styles. Arrested. Afro Rose has been arrested. She's in the back of that police van. She came to court today. She thought it was a defamation case only, and Afro Rose has been arrested. She's in the back of the van as we speak. Arrested. Yes, take her away. Afro arrested. Rose, you lots faithful activists arrested in the back of the van. Yes! yes! <laughs> Nicked, yeah? In that van. There she goes. Afro Rose arrested. Oh mate. Where's um where's my man? Yeah, this is brilliant. Nicked. That is it. For months. Yes, yeah, she did. She went, this time is up. For oh, months, for, for months, this woman was on my name. Nicked, arrested in front of my face. Sorry, my people, I'm just too excited right now. I'm too excited right now. Hold on a minute, because you didn't even get to see the actual... Let me just show you, look. In case you don't think this joke, I'm telling you. One second. Let's get this up. There she is, walking. With the officers, come, come officers have got her. Uh, look, look, they came in heavy handed. You're gonna see her. Where is Apple's mouth? Bodyguard behind her, can't do nothing, can't stop That's it. There she is. Look, see her. her. There you go. Where's her mouth? Look, officers got her right there. Look, look, back of the van. You go, mate. Back of the van. You go in. You go. Yes, yeah. This is there. You go. Back of the van. Back of the look, 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 look. back of the van. Let me just pause that a moment. So Kelly says that she's confused as well. She thought the court date was in June. And last week she said that she was in fact taking someone to court and that they should run and tell everyone that. But what happened is Afua was set up. So we'll... <laughs> she was set up because she thinks she's so slick, right? So she was set up. So we'll get back to that. <laughs> <laughs> Shaka, Afua was arrested. Back in the van, mate. In you go. And she can Shaka go said, good. And she can go and answer now why she's so light. Now, yeah. now she needs to go and answer because she stand up in court when it was um, dismissed and finished with. Yeah. She's telling the judge that there's the people who's been um, terrorizing, terrorizing her. her. Imagine I've, that. I've never seen the woman in my life. Never met I've never met the woman before. Same space it's the first ever time we've seen this woman in our right? life. Even police oh, come up to me and say to me, yeah, yeah. Am I, uh, is your name Denise? Denise Rose. I was like, yes. I said, my name big and proud and check out my driving license because I'm not Afro Rose, a.k.a. Denise Rose. Afro you Rose understand? arrested, nicked. So we will see what's going to happen now. She can run her long mouth with them. Yeah. She can go and talk her whole deep alliance story yeah. with the Met Police, telling them why she's on her, her life lying on people and calling, me all, calling kind of disgusting people names. all kind of disgusting and disgusting names crimes just because she, because she feels like is any of us in the back of police we're van? not in the back of no police van Are we're we in free. the back of a van <laughs> and after a rose i'm not frightened of you you tried to stare me out when the court was finished yeah. and pushing i'm not frightened for you because i don't do you nothing and yeah. i do not know you and i do not act it Activate terrorism like yeah. yourself. Yeah. So don't try that with me. I'm the wrong person. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Afro Rose. Yeah. 
Now, did you hear that? Hear the word sound. Now, I don't know who this lady is. I'm actually going to get a lot more information about exactly what's happened as I go into future live streams that I'm going to do on this. But she says that Afua is practicing terrorism. Do you understand? So don't think that you can just come on any platform, wax lyrical about anyone that you, you want to, and you're going to get away from it. Because clearly in this case, that is not the case. I say so, nicked. All right, for, for those of you that missed it, I'm gonna show you right now the footage, yeah? For those of you that missed it, show you what's going on. This is brilliant. I said the day would come, I told everyone. What's up? I told everyone. All right, there you go, have a look. She's walking. She's walking. She's in front of that. She, got, she even came with security guard. Imagine that. So look, look, yeah, she's in a grey suit. See her there? Look, 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 look. Back of the van. Back of the van you go, mate. <laughs> Back of the fighting van, mate. Sorry, excuse my language. Yeah, nicked. <laughs> Yo, the thing sweet, me. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Nicked. Let me go and post this because as loud as she was, Calling me all type of names, disgusting things. Nicked, mate. Afro Rose nicked. Nicked, mate. Yeah? Look, 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 look. Afro Rose nicked, yeah? She put me through hell. This woman, this woman put me through hell. Yeah? She made so much problems in my family. Yeah? Not even problems. Like, she made stress. I shouldn't even say stress because my family's here. You get me? I'm loved by my family. Yeah? But she caused so much stress with all the lies telling people I'm a woman and I'm pretending to diss and rare and I'm raping and I'm pedophile she, the amount of stress this woman calls me yeah nicked mate let me show you lot again for those of you that missed it fucking nicked who's that is that Styler that's not Styler who's that yeah you don't want to listen to this woman you're not talking about oh have you seen her live have you seen she said this and she said that nicked mate yeah because it's criminal what she's been doing all right so yeah nicked mate fucking nicked so watch, you watch, I'm going to do a proper live and I'm going to explain everything, yeah? I'm going to explain everything, but this woman is going down and I'm the reason for it. For every person that she's troubled and told lies on, she's she tricked you lot, she's hoodwinked you lot, she's made you believe that she's some kind of activist. There's so much lies you lot don't know about this woman. I just sat in court and heard it all. I, I got the whole recording. I heard every single thing, yeah? And she thought she was coming out of that court. Look, there, there it is. She thought she was going to walk out of that court and, all right, it's only defamation, I've got to pay a fine. No, because you're guilty of criminal charges as well. The police came, about 20 officers came to arrest her. About 20, heavy-handed because of her history, her prolific criminal history, yeah? And because they know she's prolific, they came heavy-handed, yeah? So let me just show you that one more time. There she is. I'm not making it up. There's Afro Rose. Nicked, yeah? Let me show you that in real time because she likes to say it's Photoshop. Yeah, so this ain't Photoshop. Nicked. Look, there Nicked. you go. Can't do nothing. Quiet like lamb. Yeah. Remember what she was telling people? The style is going to get. Stick a minute. Just you hear that? Stick a minute. Watching that is actually quite deep for me because to me, you can hear in this brother's voice that he has been through it. He's been through it because of the tongue of Afro Rose. So someone is saying, very embarrassing to think her young daughter finished school today whilst her mother gets arrested outside of courts, outside of the court, sorry. Afua needs to get her priorities right. If Afua had her priorities right, she wouldn't be doing this work in the way that she's doing it. You know, she, she seems to feel like she's invincible and by default, her children are also kind of like immune to the impact that her actions will cause. And for me, I have never used my platform to just come and speak ill of anyone's child. As much as Afua has done that to me, she doesn't even know my daughter. She spent months and months just chatting about me and my family, making lies up getting all these little dragons and vampires who are insecure and have nothing better to do to sit down and talk about me. And however, I know that the accusations that were made about me are nowhere near the level 
of what Styler and several other people, male and female, have experienced, but mostly male. So I personally can't feel sorry for Afiwa's child because of her actions. I just feel sorry for the lot of them, you know, for you to come from someone who is literally causing so much catastrophe, defamation, negativity, you got so much haters. Even when Afiwa leaves this planet, she's leaving behind families and generations who will have issue with her descendants. So we have to be really careful how we move on this planet. Kelly says, I'm confused as well. I thought the court date was in June. Oh, I read that already. So that's what I thought. I thought that her next court date was going to be in June. Okay. While I was making my uh, new Trauma Pimp documentary, I reached out to uh, the Claire Kennedy page because I realized, which I haven't introduced properly, I'll do it in my next video. This is a page that was set up to really call Afua Rose out on her wickedness, on her lies on her deceit and they had removed all of their posts and they said they were waiting for this court case. So I actually just assumed that it was the June court case, but lo and behold, it wasn't, okay? It was something new. It was something new. She thinks she's so suave, she's so smart, she thinks she's so slick that she can get away with everything and yet she's actually not that slick because she got set up today, okay? She got set up. And you hear what the guy is saying, prolific criminal history. So don't let, and I know a lot of her um, sheep, okay, because we don't deal with followers. You're a subscriber or you're a sheep. A lot of her followers, because of the um, wounds that they have as a result of various abuses that they've experienced, they've turned off their internal compass that allows them to have critical analysis, okay? Just because someone says they're standing up for, for women's rights doesn't automatically mean, or it doesn't automatically translate that what they are doing is ethical, legit, or right. Why are so many people, like even in this life, I'm seeing women here, not just men. People keep thinking, oh, she's just saying this about men. No, that's not actually the case. Men and women are being attacked by this vile being who has nothing better to do but to try and destroy people. I like the fact that we can see that she has been arrested. Why can't we see all the people who have been arrested as a result of her so-called activism? Y'all need to heal. Y'all need to heal. Because if you don't heal, it almost clouds your perception so you can look on BS. You get what I'm saying? You can be observing trash. And because there's one element of that trash, that you think is in support of you, you just accept it. Nicked and styled this and styled that. I told everyone, if you don't take this woman's side and listen to her, you're gonna get nicked as well. And this is just the first of many, because there's more people to be arrested as well. I ain't playing with these people. Yeah? I ain't playing. Anyway, I'm gonna do a proper live and explain what I go on. Shaka, you know the badness. Yeah? I'm happy, it's the happiest day of my life. One of the happiest days of my life right now. That me, I tell you. All right? One of the happiest days of my life, I feel vindicated. Yeah, I feel vindicated. You think the police have time to arrest people that are innocent, activists, community leaders, people that are do good? You think police have? They came with twenty officers. Yeah, twenty officers came. All right, look, look, look come on, Vindicated. Yeah, yeah. Vindicated. Let's see now. Let's see whether she's gonna get charged. Let's see what's gonna happen. Let's see she got arrested. Let's see if she's gonna. Let's see she's gonna come on her live and chat about how people gang her and Eamon Edwards and Styler is this. Okay, so stick a pin. So this is Styler's auntie. So big up yourself, auntie. Big up yourself. You're there supporting your nephew. You're supporting your family. You're, you're supporting the descendants in your generation. But in answer to that statement, of course, after what is going to go back on her platform and chat all her foolishness and make up all of her lies. And I think that the people who believe her lies deserve to be duped. Do you understand? They deserve to be tricked because if you're out here acting like you don't have any discernment, okay, you're so wrapped up in some online pasa pasa and online drama. You're like, it's like some soap opera thing. If you don't have the ability to look at things objectively. If you Google, there's a lot of questioning content, including my own, about Afua Rose, okay? So if you don't have the ability to have a look at that, 
and to think with some kind of balance and reason, then you deserve to be duped. How about that? Okay, Kerry Mossington says, she was to be in court on the 18th with LB. That's what I thought. This is what I thought was going on. She was on holding and left LB on her own to face the court. She baits and then leaves. Sha'el said, doesn't change the fact that you're a woman cosplaying as a dude. Not really sure what that means. Please clarify. Um, yeah, and so obviously, as Kerry's saying, this guy, DJ Styler, has confirmed that 20, like what has Afua Rose done? Why, according to what he's saying, 20 police officers had to arrest her. No, I have to find out. <laughs> Seriously. I have to find out what's going on. Her name is creepy and her essence, what's inside of her is absolutely vile. Yeah. What them say? Time longer than rope here. Same and rare, rare, rare and all this rubbish. Like I said, I'm proud of you. What she need to understand is what the judge made her to know is you need to go and sort out your defense. Yeah. I have advised you on how to sort out your defense. Yeah. That is what she needs to be putting and herself if you into. It's, it's, wait, this yeah. is just one case. Hold he on. This is one of many. know that you don't get your mail. As he told her, your address, <laughs> yeah. what you give yeah. publicly yeah. and somewhere to be corresponded with, yeah. he does not business if your son who lives there and everybody else who you claim lived there didn't give you the letter. Yeah. He, does, he does it's your business. Address. It it's your served. address. And what did he say? You got served. And you got served because order. there's receipts from the Royal Mail. So you got it. Okay, another thing, like, literally, I saw the video where someone went on behalf of DJ Styler to go and deliver some court papers to an address that Afua has been claiming is not her address, right? And I thought to myself, how can she show a video of her looking outside at what's happening outside, filming it, making accusations that they came to attack her and her daughter, how can she have that video unless she's in the house? And I realized the audience that's following Afua, they do not think, because from that point, I realized it's clear, it's obvious that Afua must be living in that house. Now, what is the trick? Afua has several businesses registered to this house. What is it, Ashmore Crescent or something like that? This house, that's in Enfield, right? You can just go online, put... Uh, Denise Rose Company's house, okay, and these addresses will come up. And she's been lying with her split tongue for years and saying, no, that's a business address, although it's a residential address. And even when the people came to represent Styler to give her papers to make sure that she was served, she continued lying to her audience and was claiming that the, the people, there are other people that li that live there, and somehow they're being harassed. And apparently, allegedly, when she's gone to court in this specific court case, that address is lifted as her own home address. Why is Afua so lie? Why is she so lie? And if your son, whoever was in your house, did not give you it, that's that between you and them. Nothing to do, nothing with, to do with us. Yeah. So I hope before she go and do her life, I'm sharing this information yeah, live and direct. I hope you guys. before she go and do her life. That the woman go and try and sort out her evidence because she's got that evidence. Is, that, well, she not I'm not evidence, <laughs> yeah. but she's been advised on how to do it. Yeah, that is what she must take her long mouth, giraffe neck self, and go and do. Yeah, and do not interfere with people who have nothing to do with her. The yeah. woman was rolling her eye on me and yeah, trying, trying to, to stay you out. Trying to stay Imagine me we're in the out court, in the court. Yeah, we're in the court. She's trying to stare out my auntie. The and woman then, is trying to stare me out with her big eyeglass. Is and then, she crazy? Wait, wait, let, 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 let me just break it down oh, for you yeah, nicely, yeah? yeah? Let me have to smoke one roll up. Let's have it. Let me tell you how nice it is, yeah? We was in the court listening, yeah? Oh. In the court listening. And then we saw a guy come into the court and he whispered something into the judge's ears, he yeah? He passed him a note. He whispered something and he passed him a note. And, and my you. auntie turned around and said to me, I wonder if he's telling the officer, the, the judge, that she's going to be nicked. Yeah, because the judge, because demeanor the judge demeanor changed. So as soon as she walked out of that court, she smiled at me. She went like she smirked me like this. Yeah, yeah. She done this. Yeah, and she tried to and, me out. And you know what I done? I went back to her. Yeah, cause I know I go on. Yeah. So let me just show you something for those of you that don't that, that missed it. 
live and direct because she loves to chat about Photoshop. So let me just quickly show you that something here. Turn this camera around. Hold on. Turn it around. All right. Look at my shoes I'm wearing here. Yeah? I'm wearing green Jordans. Yeah. I'm at the Royal Courts of Justice. Just in case anyone tries to say it's Photoshop. Yeah. Royal Courts of Justice. Shoes there, right? All right. Boom. Let's start. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So you're going to see my shoes. So you know it's today. Yeah, playing no games with this woman. Yeah, you think I'm an idiot? I've never spoke about this case before in my life. Enough is enough. Yeah, I've always just. Yeah, her, I told everyone her time will soon be up. No one, you, some people believe me and some people didn't. Who's that? Who's that? If you don't know who that is, type who that is. <laughs> if you don't know who this is, let me zoom in. Hey, then you hold that, please. Let me zoom in for them. Fire day almost must tell you think a cool breeze, yeah? <laughs> hey, so, someone screenshot that and send it to me, please. Yo, watch ya. Hey, someone screenshot yeah. this and send it to hey, me. Look there. Hey? You see when when hard luck and trouble take you, pick your shop fit you. You watch out. See how they? Yeah. See it there? Yeah. It's like it's a goat face. Yeah. 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 Right. What's the walk of shame now, guys? Yeah, walk of shame. What's the walk of shame? Well, the week is linked, love. <laughs> Watch your walk, Hashim. Yeah? Oh, look. Big up King. King sent it to me. Watch your walk, Hashim. Nicked, mate. Nicked. Spreading, spreading lies on my name. Uh, would you like it? Nice one, King. Oh, Nick, look, in the back of the van. Back of the van. Back of the van, mate. Back of the van. <laughs> back of the van. And you know what's sweet with the most here, people? I know a lot of people have tried to do this. A lot of people have tried to get Afro and Nick. And I know. This is Aaron Edwards, yeah? This one was. yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know a lot of people have tried to get a Nick here, yeah? and I know it's been unsuccessful. Yeah, but I told everyone I'm the wrong person. <laughs> Check said, I bet she wish she stayed in Jamaica now. I am the wrong person to play with. Yeah, don't play with me. Also, let me show you this guy here. That's you see that guy there in black, and my family as well. That guy in black is a personal bodyguard. Which she walks everywhere with, yeah? He tried to get, in the mix. Tried to get involved when she was getting nicked. The police just brushed him aside. The police just... And you see all these people here? They're all CID, undercover officers. All of them. Yeah? Wow. All of these people you're seeing are all officers. Wow. Yeah? Look, look. All of them. Wow. Look, look, look. Yeah? Question. What has Afua done why she needs to be surrounded by undercover officers? What was said in the court that reveals the length of her prolific, from what I've just heard in the video, this prolific criminal record that she has? Because some of the allegations that have come to me include the fact that she allegedly has been committing a series of fraudulent things linked to business. When I first started doing my research on Afua Rose, I could see that she had one company registered under company's house. Before I was even finished with that research, that company was dissolved and a new company was created. And to me, it did look very, very fishy. So to me, this behavior that's happening from the law enforcement, from these undercover officers, et cetera, this can't be based on one thing because why are they acting like this is someone who's at flight risk? Obviously, they know, apparently, she went to Jamaica. I learned this from the Claire Kennedy page, big up the Claire Kennedy page on Instagram, because I don't watch Afro Rose's content because it's, it's demonic. Like, to me, it's a low vibrational form of media. I tend to make sure that any media that I put out, there's some resolution, there's something that makes sense, there's something that someone can learn. So what is it that Afua has done that requires so many officers to be around? Kelly said, she said the police were in trouble and being investigated for the way the police handled that situation at her house. I'm sure that's a lie. I'm sure she, I'm sure she said that, but obviously she doesn't know truth. She said they threatened her and her daughter, her daughter's lives. Well, I saw the video, I didn't see them threatening anyone, yet the police let them go as it didn't appear that they did anything wrong. She's she's a liar. She's a liar. Like this woman, I personally have borne witness to her telling so many lies, not just on me, I've seen her do it. When Killer P came out and was calling out Kevin Bennett, Bennett you can go on Afro Rose's page now. 
on her YouTube, she has a video where she's saying, look, I don't know Kevin Benny. I never heard his name a day in my life. And I'm thinking, wow, this woman's a bold faced liar because I had had a conversation with Afro Rose about Kevin Benny about four months prior to her saying this. So I realized them real liars, they will just lie to prove a point. Humans lie, we all tell lies, but what shows the character of the person is the reason why they are lying. And she is literally a pathological liar. They got her phone. She was trying to talk her way out of it. She had a standoff with them for so long. What happened? Afro Rose nicked me. Afro Rose fighting <laughs> nicked. And now I, can, now I can say her name. Yeah, I never came on no live. I never discussed nothing when she accused me of all her and bollocks. Don't have too much more to say. And, and all till now, I still don't have more to say because there's so much more involved in this. But we're going to give you a breakdown. Don't worry. You're going you're gonna to get everything. You're going to get everything. Don't worry yourself, people. But I just wanted to let you lot know. Use that. One star. I'll soon, I'll soon link up, bro, bro. I'll soon link up, my bro. Just wanted to let you lot know. Nick, so you won't be hearing from her. For at least up to 24 hours. Fire the almost <laughs> must tell you think I cool breeze. Yeah? I said, wow. What? Yeah. Let, I, I told everyone, yeah, you cannot go online and be calling oh, you, you look what she done to um the man in Birmingham. What's it what for showcase? Wrong? Calling what's it for showcase um By the way, blacklist the black awards in Birmingham. That's where it's gonna be. Blacklist it because them and Afro Rolls are companions. Yeah. So She's, she attacked the UK reggae fraternity calling everybody rapists and pedophiles and I said, you know what, I'm not just doing this for myself, you know, yeah oh yeah, it's Friday today, so she yeah. might have to stay in court till Monday, yeah, if, she charged, our life. Yeah, if she gets Make charged if she gets charged Friday from police station. oh yeah, if she gets charged today yeah, it might be that, but if she gets charged today she'll have to stay in court and stay in a police, police station till Monday yeah, you know what I'm saying, but listen I told everyone, yeah, that this day was going to come the people that spoke to me, that is, if you don't know me, you don't know me. But I told everyone this day would come. Yeah? So, I'm, even I'm the happiest guy alive right now. Not even pen. She I don't think. The judge for pen. Someone, someone send this to Judge British as well. Yeah? Yes. Because, remember, she was talking about, um, Judge, I hope you're in there. Come on, why you light this one up? And I know Judge don't like me, so she's not going to post it. But it's all right. I'll post it for you. It's all good. Yeah? It's all good. I'll post it for you. But anyway. Big up my, I'm so happy for those that don't get it. I'm happy this has happened. This woman has made countless false accusations towards my family. That's it. And not just me, Shaq. You know what? I'm doing this for everyone. Every person that had a false accusation made against them from these people. Also, it's a lesson to teach people. You can't just go on social media and type what you want to type. You can't just go and say and what you want to say. people see. guilty of crimes that you and the woman them who you claim is victim is saying that someone done. If somebody do you something, why you don't take them to court? Why you don't go to police? What you going to long net Afro Rose for? Why would you go to long net Afro Rose? I, I agree with what she's saying. Someone in the comments is saying that. So where were her moderators, Grandma Liz, LB and Toya? And they also said, LB out here on her own note. Minna feels sorry for LB. When Afro was sat on her platform, and said the wickedest things about so many people. Was LB using any morality? Was she being logical? Or was she just running up underneath Afro and being like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see all those yes men and yes women? Now that this has happened, even if they're out in the cold, I do not, everyone makes their own decision, right? Make sure that the decisions that you make, you can lie down at night and have peace. Do you understand? Make sure you can have peace. If you as big, tough, back, grown adults, do you understand? We're not even, look how young, you know what? I never even realized this is how young this DJ Styler is. Today is the first time I've seen his face. Look at how young this man is. And Afua and her tough, back followers who have nothing to do, nothing to do. You don't do anything of value or of benefit for women. I have been working with women for mm, 11 years now, do you understand? This year is my 10th I Love My Room annual goddess gathering. I put my email out in one week and all the tickets were booked. I don't have to sit on social media and chat people and post a bag of bag of things. Why? Because I have been doing effective work. Many people have been doing effective work. Here we have Kevin Bennett. Bless up Kevin Bennett. Another person who I actually 
have I only knew about Kevin Bennett on the back of what's happened with Afua and her goon, the pussycat. Against her from the past and who may come in the future, she has defied the law of cause and effect. I agree. Eh? You see where it bring her? It bring her to the Royal <laughs> Court of Justice. Let me show them. That's where it bring her. Yeah, about his time okay. is up. Her time is up. That's where, <laughs> that's where she was for defamation. And when she come out of the defamation... She got nicked for right, criminal she charges. She got nicked for criminal charges. Yeah. Okay? She come out of the court across the road for defamation. And got nicked for and criminal charges. And she got nicked for criminal, which is, let me tell you... Okay, so they are saying that she went to court, just as what I think it was Kelly was saying, this was supposed to be a defamation case. And obviously she's well cocky because when I first started to interact with Afua, I would ask her, so don't people take legal action against you, you know? And she said to me, I told someone this today as well. She said to me, it costs 200,000 pounds to pursue a defamation case, 150 to 200,000 pounds. And so she's quite comfortable. She's banking on the fact that most people don't have 200,000 pounds for that reason. And if they have it, they're not going to use their money for that reason. So a few weeks ago, a couple of months actually, I've been seeing another account, this is on YouTube, by a representative of, I think it's Edward Ammons. I have to double check that information, I apologize. I'll make sure I have everyone's name for when I come back. This account is called the Marie Halsford account. And it is here that I have been seeing that Afra Rose has been taken to court someone has been pursuing some legal action against her for defamation. But what I have heard in this instance, not sure if it's true, we'll definitely get some more information. Uh, but I was in Eamon Edwards. Thank you. Did I say Edwards? I'm on. Eamon Edwards. Thank you. I was told that the reason why, and I think this is really important for those people who have an issue with Asua attacking them online, you know, DJ Stylist said he's going to come out and speak about what's happened. I look forward to that. I will be reviewing that too because, huh, trust me, time is longer than rope. But apparently, the difference between this case and, again, this is an allegation. I haven't confirmed it. I'm not sure. But apparently, the difference between this issue and the previous issues where people are trying to get the police to, you know, initiate some serious um, impact against Afua for their actions. The difference is people have been telling the police that she is defaming them and that she is slandering them, okay? But apparently, and if you have any more information, if you watch this after, please comment below. It's an ongoing conversation. Become a nice that chat about it. A nice that chat about it, seriously. Um, the difference here is that apparently, allegedly, DJ Styler didn't actually try to get a defamation or slander suit. And I wrote it down because I wanted to make sure that I say the correct thing. Apparently, this time around, malicious communication and hate speech. And what it was told to me, it was told to me that essentially defamation and slander, they are a civil matter. So that's dealt with in the civil courts, which you know is neither here nor there. But malicious communications and hate speech are criminal. And so if you go to the police with a civil matter, do you understand what I'm saying? They're going to tell you to go and get a lawyer, go to the civilian courts, this long, half dead, cold, fat, one long thing. But if you go to the police with a crime, they are obligated. So I do feel like we all need to explore that. We need to find out if this is true. I'm actually waiting. I hope that I understand, obviously, with this going on, I'm sure there are many things that DJ Styler cannot say. I found his account. It's so funny. After my phone was bombarded with these videos, I said, what the backside? Is Afua being a wreck? Like, what? So I went into Instagram because I don't have notifications coming up on my Instagram. I went into Instagram and one of my longtime university friends had sent me the video that was posted on DJ Styler's page. And I was thinking, what this world? I would never have expected 
it to come from her, but she's also a DJ. So she's following DJ Styler. And she said, I, I thought this is the woman that you were talking about, right? So I understand if he's going to a court case, and we must understand there will be certain things he can't actually speak on at the moment. Things will have to go through their proper process. But I did reach out to him. I did big him up. I said, I'm so proud of him because I am. And even at that time, I hadn't checked his picture. I hadn't seen. All the time I'm hearing DJ Styler because she loved Tech Set on Big Mantle. I just assumed that this was a man that was in his 40s or 50s. When I actually watch the videos and see this youth, I realize Afua has no soul. She has no conscience. She just goes up. And also, Afua, or as much as she says she's about this nuclear family and she believes in black love, Afua hates men. You guys need to understand that. Afua hates men. She used her platform to come out and apparently advocate for women who had been assaulted by men, but she never came out and spoke about her own assault, not initially. And then way after when her platform is grown so big, she wants to use the same platform that's apparently set up to accuse people of SA, yeah, SA, assault against women. Now she's using the platform to run down her baby father, and that's how I'm gonna call him, and I don't use that use that word very often, but Miracle's dad, to run him down, to make this go viral. And then like a year and a half after that, I went on Claire Kennedy's page, and I could see that she was totally, totally like breaking down, um, can't remember his name, Viv Amun. That's the father of her middle set of children. And I thought this lady doesn't have any boundaries. Is there nothing in your life that isn't supposed to come and be the subject for everyone on social media, most of who doesn't even like you? Is there nothing? Do you have no boundaries? It's because she is so anti-man. Do you understand? She's anti-man. And so by hook or by crook, even if it's a young guy like this, even if allegedly, this is what I've heard, I have heard, and I will get confirmation of this, that... Afua allegedly created some fake victims when it comes to this thing with DJ Styler. Afua got people to lie about him, and this also came to light. So she can carry on. I don't know. It carry named on. malicious communication. It is against the law. Yeah. You understand? Harassment. Right? It goes further than that. It's malicious communication that you are spreading to ruin people, to send them to the brink of suicide, to make them depressed and mad, to make them can't even come out of their house. That is what Afro Rose does. People who follow her, you are cult members. You understand? Or do not have no mind. Right, them ones who follow and realize, make me go look pan clear Kennedy appeared. Make me go look pan this. They're the ones who are starting to realize. Then wait, this woman is saying all these people done this. How comes no one's been convicted? How comes nobody? Listen, people, use your mind. Think about things. Not everything you see online is the truth. You hear what I'm saying? Because what you're going to do? Wait for when it's your family, and then you start jump and leap. Stop follow this woman. Stop believe this woman. If you want to follow her, follow her. Stop believe everything this woman said because she's a liar. Okay? That is why she's in defamation court. Defamation means you fucking lie. You understand? <laughs> that is it, what it means. It wouldn't even get to court if you, if okay? you had the evidence before. It wouldn't even right. go that far to court. So yeah, my people, anyway. Um, go. Um, yeah, we need to go. Yeah, we need to go to get back to ends. But yeah, I'm, I'm always walking my head high. Come on. You come on. You, you look at my Instagram page. I'm always working. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Heads you know that. I kill them with them. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> that is it. Fire they are most most tear. Them think I cool breeze, yeah. Like, I've seen that person on Afro Rose's page, Tiny San. So you can go, you, let, let message to you. Afro Rose is nicked. Let me just quickly show you. Yeah, your master's gone. Hang on. Let me quickly show you. Uh, go on. Yeah, I, know. I just want to say, I just saw some comments saying not everything she did was a lie, even though she handles things wrongly. Now, I am not Christian, okay, but I grew up in Jamaica, which is a Christian country. And one of the things that I have come to know about the Bible is that it's, which is the, the, the holy book for Christianity, right? Is that it speaks about the devil being someone who mixes lies with the truth. So in order for her to gain any traction, she would have had to have brought some truth to the platform. 
So I'm not saying that everything she comes and says is a lie. Do you understand? But basically, what I can say is separate to everyone else, because me can't vote for everybody, but I can vote for me. Afua has told a whole bag of BC lies about me, my family, my work, and my history. And you, her followers, who are, I bet about half of you are her followers who are watching, or no, never say nothing. You were very happy to sit back and kya, 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 and even to spread the lies. And I wasn't even being accused of assaulting anyone. And that affected me. So how much empathy do you think I have for those who haven't assaulted anyone and have been called out on her platform? Is it because she may have called out a few people who were genuinely guilty that that excuses the immorality of her look how young this guy is look how young this are you guys crazy i don't want to hear no defense for Athua. go to her page and defend her holler at her family get in contact with the court i am personally not here for that because i am sure that everything she's done hasn't been based on her being dishonest but time and time again she has demonstrated that she has a split tongue that she is duplicitous, that she has two, or in the case of the thumbnail on my video, the trauma pimp, she's got several heads. She is a bully. She doesn't hate men and love women. She loves sheep. Do you understand? She loves sheep, whatever gender they are. She doesn't like people who think for themselves. She doesn't like people who have critical analysis. She doesn't like people who won't accept her ongoing bullying. To me, she's a low vibrational being looking at people like myself who have, I literally, year after year after year after year, I create, I heal, I create, I make music. I have a track record. Where did, where was Afua when I was creating my legacy that's already created? I don't remember Afua Rose. I was in the UK for many, many years, like up until 2018. I saw all these Black African, sorry, Pan-African communities. I saw all these different groups. Where was Afua Rose? Was that when she was in prison? Because she seemed to just roll in out of nowhere. She's pretending to have this big, massive backstory. Where was she? So I don't want to hear no, mm -mm 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 -mm. from my granny to my great granny, to my, listen, I got some serious ancestors. When I made my video about Afro Rose, the crab in a barrel one, the toxic femininity one and treachery and the trauma pimp, that's my ancestor said, nah, you can carry on just being peace and love. You got to chat about that woman cause she's wicked. Do you understand? I don't want to hear all the, how many people do you think when I came out last year and said, if you've been affected by Afro Rose, get in touch. How many people do you think got in touch with me? Do you think it was only men? Do you know how much women afterward has, they have trauma on their heads because of the things that someone who says they're a psychologist has uttered out of her mouth to people? Do, that is, I don't, I don't know about Jesus and all that. I know about demons and clean heart people. That's some demon business. So those people who want to defend her, go help her pick me them. Go and help her children. Go and donate to her court case fund because she looks like she's going to need it. And thankfully, DJ Styler and his auntie, who's doing a solid for that boy, she's standing up for him amidst all of these terrible rumors and claims that have been made against him. They have clarified that it's not about defamation and slander. It's about malicious communication and hate speech. And a lot of people might need to bear that in mind when they decide to pursue whatever they need to pursue against. Because I will tell you this, this is not the end, this is the beginning. This is not the end, this is the beginning. Of course she's a bully. Of course, if you want to, you want to bully men, you know that men are physically stronger than women. You're not coming with no facts. You're not coming with no philosophy. You're not even coming with the biological ask nothing. All you're doing is just chatting, chatting, chatting. And let a woman decide, you know what? I've got an opinion and it doesn't go with yours. Then it's a big attack thing. No, no, I'm not accepting that. Not one bit.
not hiding my face. No, 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 we're not. Her. There you go. Sorry to all the Afro Rose fans, your master's nicked. Alright? <laughs> Monster boss, pick up yourself. Pie, pie, pie. Yeah, the, your cult leader. Yeah, your cult leader gone and the back yeah, of the yeah, van. Jim Jones is gone. Yeah, she gone. <laughs> your way cold queen is gone. Everybody love. Your way cold queen is gone. Your way cold queen has been nicked. Yeah, she, she gone. She can go and answer why she's spreading malicious communication. Alright then. And if we was in Jamaica, we'd have say, open at the truck. Open oh. at the truck. <laughs> Yeah. Good. Right, make me go step because John. Yeah, I'm gonna put the Uber. Uh, uh, there's one more quickly, one more to show you, like the, the walk. I shame. Cause it's not Photoshop. Cause you love bar like Photoshop. Up in the truck. Like we're in fucking England, mate. Up in the truck. Right. See the flag up there, see the Union Jack yeah, up there, we'll put it with the England, kangaroo court don't yeah, mountains over here. That is it, that is it, see there, Great Britain mate. Yeah, Alright, yeah, there you go. Yeah. After us kangaroo court don't mean nothing. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay. Shaka. So, apparently she's live on Instagram and I did just say she'd probably be in bail for a few hours and then she'll be left out, she'll be let out, but obviously she still has to go back to court. I personally, like, I've got this little style. I will say what I've got to say, but I am not going to be watching Afro's content. If I watch Afro's content, it's to get some evidence. Some, I can't watch her content because goddesses don't mix with demons. Do you understand? But I have had it verified, thank you, that she is live. She's out now on her Instagram channel. So please feel free to check that out. <laughs> if, if that's your... If that's the vibration that you're on. For me, I rarely use this platform in terms of my feminine mind. I'm a very busy woman. I'm very creative. But let me tell you something. When things are on my mind, I make time and space to speak about it. And the minute that I found out, yeah, today, that Asawa had been arrested, which was way late. Like, I find this, I found this out about 7 p.m., 6.37. I decided, yeah, I'm going to come and talk about it. Anyone can get bail. Anyone can get bail. But as we said, this is the beginning and it's not the end. Let's finish watching this video. That being said, there's no more for me to say. <laughs> Artie just said it, yeah? But just the last thing I'm going to leave you guys with, just so you know, yeah, so you can spread this news. Yeah, Afro Rose has been arrested. It's official. The pigeons yeah. are out, not the ducks. Yeah, yeah, the pigeons are out. No ducks. Get yeah. your ducks in order. Yeah, the ducks so, must be stand up outside police. Yeah, final. Them. I'll leave you with this final image before we, we go because I need to go. And as I said, I'm not talking about the ins and outs. And people, it's out of my hands now. So what happens in the charge and the court case? But as as long as you don't know yeah. exactly if it goes, but I want you lot to know, nobody gets arrested. Yeah, it doesn't go this far if you don't have enough evidence showing that you are guilty of what you've done. All right, I'll just tell you that in, in, in this type of case, in this type of case, yeah, yeah because to go to court. these cases are very hard to prove, yeah, when it comes on to online malicious, they're very hard to prove. Let me just talk to the people there real quick, yeah, because I just want you lot to understand, because we're not, we're not celebrating prematurely, but we're, this is a big victory for us, yeah, it it's a massive victory, because... It might teach her to stop chat people. Exactly, this is a massive victory because, yeah, it's very hard to get these cases to even get an arrest, yeah? So the fact that she's been arrested, and we're not talking one or two officers. Like, how many officers were there? Many, like, many like, officers. Up, anything I'll up to 20. them will come Nick. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. They all even wanted to nick my auntie, so. Had to show me, had to show me ID. <laughs> yeah, so there was many, many officers, and it don't go, you don't get an arrest if, it, if the evidence wasn't overwhelming. And I stayed silent, and I was very intelligent. I didn't make no fake pages like she said I did. I'm not Claire Kennedy, I'm not Marie Houseford, I'm DJ Styler. Yeah, and I've just been doing my thing silently in background. She's been nicked and that's just that, all right? So I'm not going to talk about the details of the case because we're not stupid, yeah? But that's it. It's that's done. it. Just wanted to update it's you done. guys. She's been it's nicked, done. all right? It's so done. people, I'm out. You can spread this. You can let people know. Yeah, the woman tried to ruin my life. That may I tell her. Never. Too blessed. See you later, guys. Bless up. Do you hear what he said? He said the woman tried to ruin his life. And how many other people have that same story. I can say that. Afua must have felt that her mouth would reduce my quality of life. It would reduce the money that I'm making. It would reduce my public respect, even though I had never come live and uttered one word about this woman. Okay. I am in the business of breaking generational curses. 
And Asawa, unfortunately, she's one of them chicks. They're like these old school women. They're wrong and strong. They can be evil and expect other people to be good. They have no morals. So firstly, I'd like to reiterate, if you have tried to go to the law about Afua and you went on this talk of defamation or slander, you may want to revisit that, okay? You may want to get legal representation for one and you may want to revisit it because many of us don't realise those are civil issues. However, when you're dealing with let me just double check. <laughs> you know me, because I want to give the right information out. When you're dealing with malicious communication and hate speech, that's a total different story. And the fact is, um, I think, it, did you say it was Eamon Edwards? Let me just double check. <clears throat> Eamon Edwards. Um, I had seen it on the Claire Kennedy page. I had seen Marie Houseford asking a range of people to come forward. I'm actually going to email them. I wanted to communicate with them. I had seen on the Claire Kennedy page, this is the same page that Aswa was saying, as Styler said, she was saying, oh, this is um, Styler. Someone a few months ago sent me a video. You know what? This was crazy because this was like an elder. This is someone I really respect, right? No warmonger business. He sent me this video of a cup with a giraffe face on it that was Afua's and a video of um, Afua's face being manipulated into being a giraffe. And then shortly after, I was told that Afua was on her low vibrational platform saying that that was me. Let me tell you something. I'm proud of my work. There's no video that I put out that I haven't felt like, oh, yes, I do feel they could be better. But I do my best in the time and space that I have I don't need to put out work ever and pretend that it's not me. I don't need to do that. I am proud of my work. If you watch my videos, you see I have my own style of telling stories, of telling experiences. And to me, it all comes back down to generational blockages. As I've heard Kevin Bennett say, transgenerational blockages, transgenerational curses, some dirty behavior that came from way back when that's trickling down through the generations and it doesn't go away. To me, Afua Rose, she represents that. She does not represent an activist for women. She represents someone who actually wants to tarnish the psychology, the psyche, the minds of women. Because it's not just about you saying that you've been assaulted. I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, that's, that's actually not enough. The most important thing that you need to do is to heal. And um, revenge doesn't facilitate healing. Do you understand? Revenge does not facilitate healing. So as long as there are no platforms, there are no tools being provided to facilitate healing to the bagger woman there and what she have a common attack about them experiences, then that's what makes her a trauma pimp because she's pimping the trauma of other people. She's not only pimping the trauma of the people who she's calling out, that's one part of it. But she's also um, pimping the trauma. She's encouraging women to come forward. And anyhow, they don't agree with her. She's going to mash up, try and mash them up online. Don't you see that's a demon? In what world is that someone who is ethical? In what world is that an activist? Or is she actually operating a cult? And if you fall out of favor, do you get what I'm saying? If you fall out of favor with the leader of the cult, then you'll be ejected or rejected. I'm Jamaican British, Joy C. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm Jamaican British. And to be honest, I made it my intention when I was doing my videos to speak as clear as possible, but I, I genuinely, in my day-to-day -day speaking, I go from Patois to, to British very smoothly. It's very smooth for me, you know? And although I don't use my platform to tell people about some little dotty things where we can say, I can say it. So I, I don't want people to feel like I'm a holier than thou character because I'm actually not, you know, <laughs> I'm on some goddess business. And what that means is actually having a duality of your energies, the ability to defend yourself, the ability to stand up for yourself, to seek justice and the ability to nurture and the ability to heal. 
So on that note, I don't know how long I've been live. I can't even see. I can't see. One hour, you know, somebody planned to come online for half an hour. So I feel like one hour is enough. Capping up, recapping, Afro Rose, the self-proclaimed woman's rights activist who has continued to demonstrate a lack of morality, a lack of love, a lack of integrity, a lack of honesty, who literally should be choking on her tongue while she's speaking. The amount of lies, the amount of slander, malicious communications, the amount of hate speech that I have seen her spewing. I have no number on this. This could be 100 people at this stage. This could be 300 people. I genuinely don't know how many, but there are many people and it has affected individuals. It has affected families. It's affected fam extended families. It's affected communities. She has no concern for the damage that she is making as she tries to elevate herself as, I don't know, like she won't be a hero. I don't even think it's a hero. I think from what she said back in the day when she was with her Viv Amun, do you get what I'm saying? They were doing a lot of prolific Pan-African work, which is usually demanding that um, the same races who have done you wrong give you back something, which I can't understand that, basically. I feel like, you know, when that relationship ended and she had her, she went to prison and she had a miracle, all those things. I feel like, how old is she again? 53, 54? I feel like at some point in the last few years, she started to reflect on what is her legacy. And so this is her trying to beat the race to retirement because that's what's ahead. And hopefully she can retire in peace. You know, not all of us get to retire in peace. She's apparently she's lived on Instagram. And I feel that when she looked at what she had created with her life, when she looked at where she'd invested her time, she was clearly in servitude to Viva Moon and never work out. You understand? So she didn't want like a upstanding citizen anymore. She wanted a road man. She said she wanted a bit of rough. And then she went with her bit of rough. And then that again fell apart. This is when this is what happens when women are too male identified. Your value cannot be um, ascertained through who is dicking you. Your value is not about whether you're married or you're not married. That is patriarchy. Do you understand? Your value is not about this relationship work, this relationship, that's not your value. If you know your value as a woman, and that's why healing is important for everyone, for men and women, your value isn't the external. Men actually rightfully place more value in what they're creating for themselves because a man's role is to provide, okay? If a woman cannot see the value just in herself, just breathing and vibrating on the planet, do you get what I'm saying? Like a, a ball of healing energy, just so then you'll always be chasing something outside of yourself because you just can't see yourself for who you truly are. And that's what's happened in the case of Afua. So now she's seeking public respect. She also wants to have fear. She wants men to fear her. And why do I say this? When I first started speaking with Afua, and I'm going to come back, you know, because I've got a lot more to say. Every time I make a video, I realise, hold on, what about this? What about that? Even with the, the last Killer P videos, I realised that as much as I'm telling the things I can remember, once I cleared my mind of those things, there were some other things that I had forgotten to say, right? So when I first started speaking to Afua, she kept on telling me about the first march that was held in Brixton. So I would say, I guess that's the 2021 or 22, I think it's 21, the His Time Is Up March. Now, I'm sure I've mentioned to you guys, I'm getting hot because of the lights. I'm sure I've mentioned that my mother has the same birthday as Afua. So I know this energy, do you understand? I know this energy. This is a energy that becomes quite sociopathic. She's not a born narcissist, but she is sociopathic. She's a sociopathic narcissist. One of the things they like to do is every dear God send them one, tell you the same story. Every day, every time I spoke to Afua, every time I spoke to her, she told me the story about when she did the march. Now, bear in mind, I wasn't in the country at the time. I never know nothing about his time is up. 
this was all new to me. So she told me this story about she went to Brixton and everyone thought that she was in either Tanzania or Kenya. I think it's Tanzania, right? Because she had gone to Africa for the pandemic and she kicked this off. So everyone thought she has to stay in Africa. They thought she was doing a march, but she may not appear. And she would tell me such a dramatic story. And then she would say, she descended from billows of clouds of smoke. I'm thinking, does she think this is a movie? Like the way how she's telling me, I realized she's, she is one for the drama. She says she's an actress and she should go and do acting acting instead of sitting down telling lies on people because it would be a lot more entertaining. Then she explained, which is a point that I'm going to revisit for a future video, she explained that all of her security guards were white. And this is in an area where all of the men that she's called out are black. And she as a psychologist, remember she's a psychologist allegedly, so them set, she knew that bringing white security guards would put the fear of God in the black security guards because of the racial dynamic, because of racism, because the UK is actually, a, a, you know, majority white. And there are a lot of nuances that go with that. So she kept on talking about she had on this bulletproof vest. And I'm telling you, every time I would speak to Afro Rose, she would tell me this same said story. I used to think, geez, I'm peace. This woman, she's like my mom and she's actually getting on my nerves. But again, remember, I'm a, she's an elder to me. So I was humble. Thank you, KCS. I was humble with it. I was like, you know, I'm not going to say, oh, could you just shut up? Because I can respect my elders until it's time to just say no. I can't deal with that anymore. I'm quite respectful. And she kept on going on and on and on about this story. And she said that um, Mega Man, okay, remember, had contributed these security guards. And you know, no, 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 no. I have to do another video. So when I come back, which is most likely going to be tomorrow, I'm not even joking. I've got a lot to say. We're going to talk about, so do me a favor, watch the trauma pimp. That's the last video that I've done about Afua on this platform, right? And when I come back tomorrow, we're going to speak about what unfolded since I put that video out. So in that video, I say, while I was doing my research, some allegations came to me from various people that Afua Rose was an ambassador. She was working for the Freemasons. Either she was a Mason herself, or she was intentionally a part of a team whose role it was to bring down the vibration of the black community in South London and in London, because this thing's online, it affects people all over the UK. I didn't say that was my opinion, but I did say her behavior is demonic, so it, it, could, it could happen, that could be a thing. How is it, yeah, no, seriously, come on. I don't have to lie you now, because I take my time with things. Why is it that maybe within a month or two, Within a short time of me putting out that video, Mega Man and a famous UK actor, of which I don't know his name, <laughs> right? But apparently he's well known. They came out with a picture on Instagram in their full Freemason regalia, their full Freemason clothes, and were standing outside of some lodge and that video, sorry, that picture in the caption, there was an embrace, an acknowledgement of the fact that they were Freemasons. How come when that came out, you guys, especially her whack sheep following, who don't have no sense, yeah, I'm not taking that back. You can go and complain to her about it, right? How come you guys never come to me and say, knock, 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 Linnea, you know what, something is in something. Why is it when people say things, and more things come out to show that there's something in something. Now, I'm not saying that that proves that she's a Mason, but if the person who actually paid for the security for the first His Time Is Up March provided a range of European, no black security guards, as far as I know, maybe there was one, maybe there was one, or if there was one, he was there the second March, yeah? So Mega Man provided that security, and so many things have been said about why she intentionally uses security to kind of challenge 
the, 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 the self of security and comfort that the men in that community had. And then I say, it's come out that, you know, she's goodly a liquor um, plant, you know, she's a liquor plant and she's out here working on behalf of negative forces. Now, my thing is, I don't care what the name of that negative force is. I know that Afua is working on behalf of negative forces because that is how I have experienced her in my life. Everyone has their own story, how said Kalfat. But me personally, I know what good is like. I know what evil is like. I know what neutral is. And that woman, I'm even trying to find the adjective to describe what she is and I can't. I need to go look in a dictionary. I can't actually find this is the adjective. Do you understand what I'm saying? So she has something rotten, rotten, some stench, some spiritual malignment. And that is why she's doing all of these negative things to people before she go focus on the healing of her own self and the healing of her child. Yeah, the healing of her generations, the healing of her family. She's got grandchildren. She's out here acting like she's a Power Ranger and she's got some intangible uh, armor on that can protect her from what's just happened. Are you serious? Dude, let's do that. Does she? Shaka said you did that. Big up yourself. Do you know what? Big up my auntie as well, man. I have to big up. Terrorizing her. her. Imagine I'm, that. I'm, people that are innocent actors. I know a lot of people have tried to do this. A lot of people have tried to. Has she been protected from that? No, she hasn't been protected. And so these are the things that I'd like you all to consider. They have some serious say sayings in Jamaican culture. One, of, It's not even Jamaican, that's the next thing. It's not even Jamaican. World culture, universal law, what goes around comes around. What goes up must come down. What time is longer than rope. Time is longer than rope and I am, I can guarantee you that I will be back to document more events like this. I will be monitoring this situation, sorry. Um, as you can see, I'm very happy. I laugh at everything, right? I will be monitoring this situation. I am still going to put out my update to the trauma pimp part two because why? You put out one video, and by the time you're ready for the next video, this has happened, okay? I played an entire video, so you're gonna have to watch the whole video back. Billy, I feel like you've just arrived. <clears throat> and I would like, if you have been affected, I'd like to ask, if you've been affected by Afua Denise Rose or Denise Afua Rose of the Afua Speaks YouTube channel, I feel like she's been running two to three years. I'm not sure of the entire, her entire span of her work. You can come to me anonymously. I don't want to call a bag of people's name because she likes to attack people. And so people feel small. For example, if I put a video up about Afua on my Instagram, hardly anyone comments, but they all come into my DMs because they know that her and her goons, who obviously have nothing else to do, are sitting down, not only watching what content comes out, but looking to see who's interacting, who's supporting. Like, could you actually get any more petty than that? That guy in black is her personal bodyguard, which she walks everywhere with, yeah? He tried to get, in the mix. Tried to get involved when she was getting nicked. The police just brushed him aside. The police just, and you see all these people here? They're all CID, undercover officers, all of them. Yeah, all of these people you're seeing are all officers. Yeah, look, look, all of them. Look, 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 look. Yeah, they got her phone. She was trying to talk her way out of it. She had a standoff with them for so long. What happened? Afro Rose nicked me. Afro Rose fighting nicked, and now I can now I can say her name. 
Yeah, I never came on no live. I never discussed nothing when she accused me of all her and bollocks. Don't have too much more to say. And, and all till now, I still did. don't have more to say because there's so much more involved in this. But we're gonna give you a breakdown. Don't worry. You're gonna you're gonna get everything. You're gonna get everything. Don't worry yourself, people. But I just wanted to let you lot know. Use that. Monster, I'll soon, I'll soon link up, bro, bro. I'll soon link up, my bro. Just wanted to let you lot know. Nick, so you won't be hearing from her for at least up to 24 hours. Fire day, I must, <laughs> must tell you, think I cool, breeze, yeah? I said, wow. What? <laughs> yeah. Let, I, I told everyone, yeah? You cannot go online and be calling. Oh, you, you look what she done to um, the man in Birmingham. What's it what for showcase? Wrong? Calling, what's it for showcase? Um. By the Red. way, blacklist the black awards in Birmingham. That's where it's gonna be. Blacklist it because them and Afro Rose are companions. Yeah. So she's she attacked the UK reggae fraternity, calling everybody rapists and pedophiles. And I said, you know what? I'm not just doing this for myself, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's Friday today. So she yeah. might have to stay in court till Monday. Yeah, if she gets charged. Yeah, if she gets Mac charged. Do our life Friday from police. Yeah, oh yeah, if she gets charged today, yeah. They might bail her. But if she gets charged today, she'll have to stay in court and stay in a police until, police station till Monday. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But listen, I told everyone, yeah, that this day was gonna come. The people that spoke to me, that is, if you don't know me, you don't know me. But I told everyone this day would come. Yeah? So I'm, even have pen. I'm the happiest guy alive right now. Not even pen. She I don't think. The judge for pen. Someone, someone send this to Judge British as well. Yeah. Yes. Because remember she was talking about um Judge. I hope you're in there. Come on, while you light this one up. And I know Judge don't like me, so she's not gonna post it. But it's all right. I'll post it for you. It's all good. Yeah. It's all good. I'll post it for you. But anyway, big up my, I'm so happy for those that don't get it. I'm happy this has happened. This woman has made countless false accusations towards my family. That's it. And not just me, Shaq. You know what? I'm doing this for everyone every person that had a false accusation made against them from these people also it's a lesson to teach people you can't just go on social media and type what you want to type you can't just go and say and what you want to say people see. guilty of crimes that you and the woman them who you claim is victim is saying that someone done if somebody do you something why you don't take them to court why you don't go to police what you're going to long neck after a rose for eh? You see where it bring her? It bring her to the Royal Court of Justice. Let me show them. That's where it bring her. Yeah, about his time okay. is up. Her time is up. That's where <laughs> that's where she was for defamation. And when she come out of the defamation, she got nicked for right, criminal she charges. She got nicked for criminal charges. Yeah. Okay? She come out of the court across the road for defamation. And got nicked for and criminal charges. And she got charges. nicked for criminal, which is, let me tell you now, it named malicious communication. It is against the law. Yep. You understand? Harassment. Right? It no, gone further than that. It's malicious communication that you are spreading to ruin people, to send them to the brink of suicide, to make them depressed and mad, to make them can't even come out of their house. That is what Afra Rose does. People who follow her, you are cult members. You understand? We do not have no mind. Right? Them ones who follow and realize, make me go look pan clear Kennedy Pied. Make me go look pan this. They're the ones who are starting to realize, then wait, this woman is saying all these people done this. How comes no one's been convicted? How comes nobody listen people? Use your mind. Think about things. Not everything you see online is the truth. You hear what I'm saying? Because what you're gonna do, wait for when it's your family and then you start jump and leap. Stop follow this woman. Stop believe this woman. If you want to follow her, follow her. Stop believe everything this woman said because she's a liar. Okay? That is why she's in defamation court. Defamation means you fucking lie. <laughs> you understand? That is it, what it means. wouldn't even get to court if you, if okay? you had evidence before. It wouldn't even right. go that far to court. So yeah, my people, anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah we used to go. That someone done. If somebody do you something, why you don't take them to court? Why you don't go to police? What you going to long neck after a rose for? Eh? You see where it bring her? It bring her to the Royal Court of Justice. Let me show them. That's where it bring her. Yeah, about his time okay. is up. Her time is up. That's where <laughs> that's where she was for defamation. And when she come out of the defamation, she got nicked for right, criminal she got charges. She nicked for criminal charges. Yeah. Okay. She come out of the court across the road for defamation and got nicked for and criminal she got charges. Nicked for criminal, which is let me tell you now, it named malicious communication. It is against the law. Yep. You understand? Harassment. Right? It gone further than that. It's malicious communication that you are spreading to ruin people, to send them to the brink of suicide, to make them depressed and mad, to make them can't even come out of their house. That is what Afro Rose does. People who follow her, you are cult members. 
you understand? We do not have no mind, right? Then we want to follow and realize, make me go look pan clear cane of the page. Make me go look pan this. They're the ones who are starting to realize, then wait. This woman is saying all these people done this. How comes no one's been convicted? How comes nobody... Listen, people, use your mind. Think about things. Not everything you see online is the truth. You hear what I'm saying? Because what you're going to do, wait for when it's your family and then you start jump and leap. Stop follow this woman. Stop believe this woman. If you want to follow her, follow her. Stop believe everything this woman said because she's a liar. Okay? That is why she's in defamation court. Defamation means you're fucking lying. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? That is it, what wouldn't it even means. Get to court if you, if okay. you had evidence before, it wouldn't even right. go that far to court. So yeah, my people, anyway. Uh, uh, yeah, we need to go. Yeah, we need to go to get back to ends. But yeah, I'm, I'm always walking my head high. Come on. You come on. You, you look at my Instagram page. I'm always working. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Heads you know that. high. Kill them with them. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> that is it. Fire there. I'm most, most tear. Them thing. I call breeze, yeah. Now, I've seen that person on Afro Rose's page, Tiny San. So you can go. You, that, that message to you. Afro Rose is nicked. Let me just quickly show you. Yeah, your master's gone. Hang on. Let me quickly show you. Uh, go on. Yeah, and I'm not hiding my face. No, I'm no, no. We're not. There you go. Sorry to all the Afro Rose fans. Your master's nicked. Move away. All right. <laughs> Monster boss, pick up a song. Pi, pi, pi. Yeah, the, your cult leader. Yeah, your cult leader gone in the back yeah, of the van. Jim Jones is gone. Yeah, she gone. <laughs> your way, cold queen is gone. Oh, buddy, your way, cold queen has gone. Your way, cold queen has been nicked. Yeah, she, she gone. She can go and answer why she's spreading malicious communication. All right then. And if we was in Jamaica, we'd have say, open at the truck. Open at the truck. <laughs> yeah. Right, make me go step, cause yeah, I'm gonna put the Uber. Uh, uh, there's one more, quickly, one more to show you, like the, the walk. My shame, cause it's not Photoshop. Cause you love buy like Photoshop. Up in the truck. Like we're in fucking England, mate. Up in the truck. Right. <laughs> to the flag up there, to the Union Jack. Yeah, we're so we'll putting England, kangaroo court, don't yeah. mountains over here. That is it. That is it. Sit there. Great Britain, mate. Yeah. All right. There you go. Yeah. Afro kangaroo court don't mean nothing. Yeah. Well, no, no, that. So all those people. One second. Let me just put this. They are cracking me up. All those people that was on my live chatting about. Oh, Styler, like Afro Rose is roasting you over there. Why didn't you join our live and and prove your innocence? Join who's live? Join who's live? Join who's live? Styler will chat Join when court live. case come and after chat. That is when Styler will chat. Styler won't be chatting on none of the ins I'm and outs. I'm just out. a small update. All right, because we're not full, yeah. right? We don't go and chat when we know that criminal case is impending, like the fucking Afro who's a fool, right? She's a intelligent fool as a matter of fact which is the worst fool because she thinks she has sense and she not have no sense because if she did have sense she would have shut her fucking mouth you understand that is how it go yeah so with that being said there's no more for me to say <laughs> oh, you just said it yeah but just the last thing i'm going to leave you guys with just so you know yeah so you can spread this news yeah afro rose has been arrested it's official the pigeons yeah. are out not the ducks yeah, yeah, the pigeons are out. No ducks. Get yeah. your ducks in order. Yeah, the ducks so, must be stand up outside police. Yeah, final. I'll leave you with this final image before we, we go because I need to go. And as I said, I'm not talking about the ins and outs. And people, it's out of my hands now. So what happens in the charge and the court case? But as as long as you don't know exactly if it goes, but I want you lot to know, nobody gets arrested. Yeah, it doesn't go this far if you don't have enough evidence showing that you are guilty of what you've done. All right, I'll just tell you that in, in, in this type of case, in this type of case, yeah, because these cases are very hard to prove, yeah, when it comes on to online malicious, they're very hard to prove. Let me just talk to the people there real quick, yeah, because I just want you to understand, because we're not, we're not celebrating prematurely, but we're, this is a big victory for us, yeah, it's a massive victory. Because it's a it might teach her to stop chat people. Exactly. What this is a massive home? victory because, yeah, it's very hard mm -hmm. to get these cases to even get an arrest, yeah? So the fact that she's been arrested, and we're not talking one or two officers. Like, how many officers are there? Many, so many officers. Up to, anything up to 20. Oh, me, they won't come, Nick. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. They all even wanted to nick my auntie. So. I had to, to show me ID. <laughs> yeah, so there was many, many officers, and it don't go, you don't get an arrest if, it, if the evidence wasn't overwhelming. And I stayed silent, and I was very intelligent. I didn't make no fake pages that like she said I did. I'm not Claire Kennedy. I'm not Marie Houseford. I'm DJ Styler. Yeah, and I've just well been done, doing my thing silently in background. She's been well nicked done. and that's just that, all right? So I'm not going to talk about the details of the case because we're not stupid, yeah? But that's it. That's it. Just wanted to update you guys. She's been nicked, all right? So people, I'm out.
You can spread this, you can let people know. Yeah, the woman tried to ruin my life. That may I tell her. Never. Too blessed. Well See you later, guys. Bless up. Big up, Shaks. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Shaka said you did that. Big up yourself. Do you know what? Big up my big auntie up. as well, man. I have to big up Auntie Bix. Big up to the auntie. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Asha, big up. Big up to the auntie. <laughs> yeah. Big up to the auntie again. Big up to DJ Styler. Big up to everyone watching. Thank you so much to everyone who has been watching my content. I actually started making videos about generational issues. And within those videos, I spoke about women like Afua. And I realized that the divine, you know, nature wanted me to have a real life example of what I was talking about. And then Afua just presented herself and said, you know what? I'm going to be a real life example of this toxic feminine that you keep speaking about. And to me, it's just going from one extreme to the next. So thank you all so much for watching. I do have a song. <laughs> I got a song that I want to sing. Since I've been sitting here, I'm like, gosh, I'm going to wrap it up with an ancestral song. This is a Jamaican folk song, okay? And it reminds me so much of this situation. The song is called Malta Massey Liza. Ready? <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh, I can't believe this, but yeah. But before I sing the song, because I'm going to wrap up at the end of it, big up to DJ Styler, big up to his auntie, big up to everyone who had his back, big up to Ma Marie Houseford, big up to Claire Kennedy, big up to Dashing Legacy, that's Kwame, big up to all the people. I know some people, I want to big them up. I know they want to remain anonymous because we can't always reveal... Who we're, who we're talking to, but big up to all the people who have reached out to me, big up to those people who have been falsely accused and terrorized by this little Rottweiler of a human. This She's not an intelligent fool. She's a fool that thinks that she has sense. You can't, you can't be both, do you get what I'm saying? Big up to those people who have the strength to push back. Big up to those people in my family, those who are in my corner, who had my back when Afua tried to wipe my name through the mud because she's jealous of me. And on that note, big up to everyone who's watched this live. Let me know what you think about um, the video in, is this portrait? Yeah. Let me know what you think about this type of a live because I could have done it on a landscape, but apparently this is a new feature and you know it's always good to use the new features on the platform. So let me know what you think about it. I will be back, okay? I really feel like saying now that I will be back tomorrow at 10 p.m. <laughs> That's how I feel like. I think I'm going to be back tomorrow at 10 p.m. to go further into this subject. There are some things that I've been wanting to share that, to be honest, the reason why I haven't put it out yet, because I usually take time to write and edit and create visuals. But I actually feel like as long as the... The, the energies bubble smoothly. I should be able to present in this way. Quick recap for the late arrives, please. Blessings, Adrian S. So yeah, before I go into my, my serenade, my sing out, what's a quick recap? This video is about Afua Rose, Denise Afua Rose of the Afua Speaks YouTube channel. She is a self-proclaimed woman's activist who allegedly uses her voice for good and activism for women against injustices who, that are mainly committed by men and fall in the area of SA and DV, okay? However, as documented in my documentary, Afro Rose, The Trauma Pimp, this woman is a wolf in sheep's clothing. She has a false agenda. She has an ulterior agenda and she has used the trauma of many women and also the spiteful energies, because remember, some of these women are just coming trying to like vex. I've seen that. I've seen WhatsApp messages where someone who came on Afterwards platform and accused someone then messaged back the guy and was like, well, you know, that's not really what I meant. So I my back is broad and it's broad enough to say that even though women do experience a, hor a horrific level of assault on this planet, not every woman who says that's happened, not every woman is it true. And unfortunately, Afua is on this 
campaign to attack and antagonize not just males, not just black males, but communities. She's on a destructive path because her own family has been battered left, right and center with stuff that all humans go through. Like we all go through stuff to be fair, but her unwillingness to heal and to process and to reconcile and to use her powerful voice to do good has allowed her to morph into this, <laughs> you know, you know that that crisp in England, they got these potato chips called Monster's Munch. Like she's morphed into this sour tasting, you know, bitter. Like she is literally like she is the perfect example of a bitter old woman. Okay. And so she not only attacks men, she attacks other women. She attacks them for the, the, um, the choices of how they may dress and how they may worship even. She just has this cult-minded mentality that says, if you are not like me, and I've experienced this, so this is not an allegation, this is not an allegation. If you are not like me, if you're not gonna suck up under my butt, if you're not gonna act like, you know, you're a few notches less intelligent and allow me to just be out here being brutish and malicious and spiteful, then I am going to try to destroy you. And we know that people who seek to destroy others, it's because they've got a deep sense of insecurity inside. They can't just sit with themselves and shut up. I can sit down for weeks and just shut the F up. And I am comfortable. I don't need to be on social media to feel alive, to feel validated. I don't need anyone to even know what I did today yesterday what i'm going to do tomorrow to feel as if i am someone of substance i breathe i think i do and therefore i am and as someone like i have been working like in meditation for about 14 years yoga for over 10 years what Afro rose truly needs is basic self-development clearly whatever she learned in her alleged psychology courses that she took because you know what no i'm coming back because tomorrow i'm going to come back and talk at 10 p.m gmt i'm going to talk about the claire kennedy and what claire kennedy the page the entity the person how they ravaged afua and put out so much information that showed that afua is just telling lie after lie after lie like i don't understand how people think they can come onto my page and defend her when they have been seeing this false exterior being picked apart by Claire Kennedy, by Marie Halsford. Like she hasn't been getting any peace. And why is that? Because she's not trying to have peace. So in a recap, this video shows Afua Rose being arrested because of her malicious communications and hate speech as opposed to defamation and slander that were committed from her an ongoing campaign of um, <clears throat> really bringing someone down, trying to destroy this young, look at the young man, on a wicked You know what? One thing I will say on this planet that never seems to like, it never fails to amaze me. When people are ready for wicked dinner, when them ready for wicked dinner, you just can't make this stuff up. You just can't make it up. And so on that note, <clears throat> I'd like to thank everyone, Adrian, Pistachio TV, Jonathan, Kerry, you're welcome, Kerry. Again, I'd like you to remind you, I'm doing ongoing bodies of work about this and it's gonna tie so nicely into my future season of Life After Death because again, I've spoken about women like this, these treacherous women, they will betray their friend's son, they will betray the woman next door, all to get validation. Let me tell you something. Afua doesn't really want validation from women. She is very phallus centered. Afua wants validation. Believe it or not, you know, take some time, think about it. We can speak it about speak about it tomorrow. Afua wants validation from men because she moves like a man. She moves like she doesn't have empathy. How can you birth? How much children does she have? Four or five children? She got two, three grandchildren. How can you as a woman have babies suckling on your breast? And then you look 
at the people in society like they aren't someone's child. You deal with men and women like they just dropped out of the sky and they also don't have parents who love and care about them. Your age is supposed to afford you wisdom. You hear what I'm saying? If you, people are always afraid of age, but from the time that my niece, Kayla Sims, may her soul rest in peace, she passed away, she ascended to the ancestral plane when she was nine. And yo, my life changed after that. I thought, wow, look how everyone's afraid to get older. And every single day on this planet, some children aren't going to grow into be adults. So we need to like be thankful for every day that we have, but we're not supposed to be like ingrates. Like I've been given 50 years on the planet. So let me just act like an idiot and prove to everyone that it was just a waste of time. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? No, we have to move like we got some sense, some goddamn sense. We got to be like, hey, I've had some extra years more than this person or that person. Every day I get up, I breathe. You understand? I'm here. No matter what challenges I have, and we all have challenges, I'm here, Medea. So while I'm here, let me just move like I got some goddamn sense. Let me act like I'm developing some type of wisdom that can leave a good legacy, not just for my own descendants, but for the children of the planet. Not just for, for this whole thing of just me and my family. No, 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 no. For your, not just your immediate community. We're global now, do you understand? We go online and we observe people's realities all over, all over. So we are global. So we must act like we have the ability to inspire, to educate, to nourish, to uplift the planet. And on that note, this is the song. Did I say what the name of the song is yet? <clears throat> so it goes like this. <clears throat> <sighs> okay. I'm trying to think of what key to start in. Malta, Ma should I put her name in? No, I'll just, the song's called Malta Massey Liza. But if you learn this song, you can switch Liza with Afro. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gassed. Okay. Who's this person typing H, 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 J, H? And who's this person saying God loves you and your goons? Afro was the only person who has goons. I have divine beings in my mist. I don't mix with demons. Goddesses and demons don't mix. I don't mix up in general. Oh, and you're being moderated. You'll be kicked off my chat because we don't beg friend round. Anyway, let me stop it. Here we go. <clears throat> hmm, hope you enjoy this song, okay? Malta Masiliza, you know, hear you, Mumadeka. Your mother galang 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 in a year, your mama de kayo. Wee! Your mother fly, your must tell lie. Member say me, I want you. Liza, keep out your mouth. Liza chat, she 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 walk a boat from pillar to post. And make some people fall out. So if you see her coming your way, don't give her nothing fit to fall. Liza, keep by your mouth. Quick time. Liza chat, she chat, she chat, she chat, she chat, she chat, where she no know. She walk about from pillar to post and make some people's fall out. Big tune, don't you? So if you see her coming your way, don't see her nothing fit to talk about. Whoa, Liza. 
Okay, bye, I'm out. Bless. Have a good night. See you tomorrow, 10 p.m. We're going to break this down. We're going to go further. We're going to pick some things that have already happened. And we're going to move forward. And remember, I always go to my ancestral sayings. They have a saying in Jamaica. Malt hot cross wear and malt make for chat. But as the video has clearly demonstrated, your mouth can get you locked up. Okay, your mouth can take away your liberty. Your mouth can mean you have to go and hire a defense team. Your mouth can mean you don't get to pick your daughter or your son up this evening because you've been locked up in a police meat van. How about that? So use that tongue to nourish this planet, not to spit poison bullets into your own self and other people. Blessing. See you tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Deuces.